more Purple Bandidos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Black. I'm Purple Rodri. In the last episode, we made our way here to Twist Mountain. We also had Darunia evolve into Darmaniton. In today's episode, we're going to continue our way through this mountain and hope that we can make it out to the other side of the tunnel. All right, let's head down this way. You guys have given me a couple tips and hints on how to get out of this mountain, so I'm going to try to use them to the best of my ability. I believe we are headed in the right direction, so let me go down here. I know that we have to make our way all the way to the bottom, and that we have a couple surprises in store for us. Uh, we just got ourselves a max potion. Let's keep on going. Hope you guys are having a nice Monday, the beginning of a week, a new fresh start, you know, really got to get things going. I know I have a lot of stuff to do before spring break. Mine is next week. I know a lot of people are having it now, but mine begins next week. So this is the week to, you know, knock some stuff out and keep on going. That's the way to do it. You know, I, I'd rather just do as much as I can this week and then just relax next week and then come back. And I'm pretty sure I have like a bunch of exams after that. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. All right, let me go right on up here. Ooh, there's a Pokeball. Ah, these are tempting situations here. Oh, should I go for them? Oh, I think I'm gonna go for them. I don't know. We might as well go for them. I'm gonna drop down here. And did I get... We got a Nugget! All right, I know that we can sell that for a lot of cash. Hey, we also found a Revive. So there we go. Always check up on rocks. Oh, man, I'm guessing this is gonna be a trainer. Oh, it wasn't. Okay, woo, we made it. I really thought that was gonna be a trainer. Fantastic. Uh, there's nothing we can do to this side, right? Nope. And it looks like there's a Pokeball over here. And... Yep! We got ourselves a battle. There we go, guys, and once and for all, it seems like our Roran is evolving into its final evolution. So here we go, our little buddy who's been with us since the beginning is finally going to evolve into its strongest form. I'm really, really looking forward to this, and look at that thing, it looks so much different. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Oh, congratulations, our Roran evolved into Samurott. So, woo, look at that. We have a Samurott now, a fully evolved Pokemon. That's great. And now we are actually going to learn the move Slash. As you can see, I didn't teach it Encore, but I do kind of want to teach it Slash. Uh, Aqua Jet hasn't been doing a whole lot for us at this point, so I'm just going to go ahead and forget it for now, and then we'll just teach it Slash and keep on going from there. So there we go. We learned Slash. Oh, that is awesome! That is so cool! We got a fully evolved Pokemon now. We also found a PP up. Now we can continue making our way through this cave with our fully evolved Pokemon, uh, which is absolutely amazing. And let's keep on going down this way. I I don't know. I always like checking all the way to the end of caves. It's something like, oh, okay, this is definitely a dead end because of those little bumps. But what I always like to do is I learned that from Zelda. You don't go in the first door. You always keep looking, you know, until the door that stops you. That's how I play it, and I feel like that's the best way to go about things. All right, so that way is a dead end. So let's keep on going up here. Oh, okay, okay, please don't tell me these are trainers. But it does look like we have a trainer up ahead, so let's go ahead and battle him really quickly. There we have it, we've defeated the hiker. I'm going to go ahead and heal up our Roran, who took quite a little bit of damage. Hey, Max Potion, how are you doing? I'm glad we found you for a reason. As you can see, everyone else is pretty healed up too. I went ahead and revived Floater. So now I'm gonna switch things up a little bit and let's go ahead and put, no, you know what? It's kind of, we've been going up against a lot of ground types. I have to keep Roran up in front. Uh, at least for now until we can make it to another area where we can do something else. Okay, I did see a trainer down that way. Ooh, repels effect wore off. Let me go ahead and use another repel. I'm really glad I picked up a bunch before going any further than usual. I don't know, it's just really nice to have them. You know, it keeps us from bumping into so many Pokemon that we most likely wouldn't want to. Okay, is there anything else down here? No. Now, it looks like we might have to battle this guy. Um, I am not too sure. I'm just gonna run for it. Ah, 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 oh, ooh, I am not good at dodging. Oh, look at that. I dodged. Ah, what? All right, we got ourselves a battle. All 
Alright, there we go. We defeated that guy. Oh, I almost wish we hadn't battled him because we took a good amount of damage there. Ooh, look at me making it through here. I, I bet you one of these guys in there was hiding in one of those rocks because they always love to do that to me. Hey, look! We have made it. Is this a vending machine? Oh, thank you. Give me some fresh water. What else you got in there? You guys got some lemonade? You guys got some soda pop in here? Oh, yeah. Let me get some lemonade. All right. Thank goodness. Now, you know, I'm actually going to use some of these and I'm going to heal up our Pokemon a little bit because we have took some damage and I really don't know what is ahead of us once we make our way through the tunnel I know a couple things that are coming up because uh, you guys told me to watch out for but you know what the only person down is floater it'll be fine we'll make it to the Pokemon Center here in a little bit and I don't think it'll take too long okay uh, let me go ahead and check what's inside of this house or this little building thing Ooh, look a computer nothing no can we check the garbage maybe there's something in the garbage trash cans empty I guess there's nothing left behind here. It looks like little bunk beds. The construction wor workers must, like, uh, sleep here overnight or something like that. That that would be my guess. Uh, anything here in this garbage can? I guess I'm just used to checking garbage can for switches and things like that. I'm just accustomed to it. All right, let's go inside of this cave. And now it looks like... Oh, is there a trainer up there? Why is his back turned? Okay, sucks for you. I'm going to keep on going. Maybe this is the way out. Let's go through here. And whoa, look at this stone. Okay, let me go use one more repel before we check it out. But wow, look at that thing. That thing is awesome. It's like a uh, glowing ice stone. It's a rock covered with ice. Touching it could make you freeze. Oh, that sounds really nice. That sounds like a lot of fun, actually. Okay, so we got ourselves TM91 Flash Cannon. Woo, great. Okay, so I guess it was a good idea to come here. Anyways, I don't know if there was a point for it, except for that ice structure and TM91, but very cool. Now, let's make our way out of here then, and we did see one more entrance, which must be the correct one, leading us out of this area. We are almost out of here, guys, because we have made it to the bottom of this pit. Wait, is this it? Wait, what? Yeah, this is it. This is it. This is the one we saw. Okay, so let's just see if we can make it. Oh, and look, there's Sharon. Huh, pr pretty strong, but you're only strong because your trainers are controlling Pokemon. So if you want to get Pokemon free, if that's what you want, you should start with your own. But taking people's Pokemon by force is not right. That is not real strength. Hey, there you are. We found that thing we were looking for. We should head for the tower now. Get this, Team Plasma has obtained the power to change this world and end people's control over Pokemon. That's right! We must use force in order to right the wrongs of the world! Now, let's gather around our king, our Lord N. Those guys! I don't know what they found, but they got the extra mile to gain power and cause trouble! What a bothersome bunch! Rodri, I'm gonna stay here for a while. I wanna think a little bit about what the champion asked me. What do I wanna do with my power after I get strong? And why do I wanna be strong in the first place? Alright, see you later, Sharon! I'm actually gonna head on out! So we will see you in a bit, my friend. Hello, Rodri. How is Samurott? Ah, this Samurott has really taken a shine to you. The Pokedex is important, but time spent having fun together is also important. Say, I just had a thought. Have you heard of Dragon Spiral Tower? Uh, no, we have not. Uh, I'm not surprised you haven't heard of it. Okay, give this story a listen. Dragon Spiral Tower is said to be the Unova region's oldest building. Stories say it's the place where legendary Pokemon came to life for where they remain in deep slumber. I know it's just past Osiris City, but that's all I know about it. That's all anyone knows because no one has ever been inside. My daughter has wanted to investigate that tower for a long time. What? There's something I don't know? That kind of feeling is pure adventure, and I'm not too old for some adventuring. Away I go to have a look at Dragon Spiral Tower. Catch you later. Alright, catch you later too, my friends, and we have made it to Isiris City, sky glittering with flowers of snow. Oh, wow, look at this place. This place is quite beautiful. It looks like there's a little pond here, uh, a windmill, and what? Okay, so I guess there are Pokemon inside of this city. What is that? A Stunfisk? Never heard of that Pokemon, so I'm gonna go ahead and just run, but I, I guess... This watery patch is kind of like uh, grass. I, I will never get used to there being Pokemon inside of a city. I don't know. 
It's just kind of strange. So it looks like we have a windmill up here. I'm just going to go ahead and take a little exploring tour around this place. What does this say? That is Route 8. Okay, so now we know how to make it through Route 8. I know we don't want to go through there first because in the next episode, we are going to be making it to the gym. I know that that is up next. Oh, and here's the Pokemon Center. Let me go ahead in there and talk to Nurse Joy a little bit. It's been a while since I've... Hey, what... Hey, what's up? You know, I heard of this dragon spiral thing and it's kind of cool. Like, do you want to just, oh, you, oh, you're busy. Oh, well, you, oh, okay. Heal up my Pokemon. That's fine. You know, I mean, that's, I guess that's why I'm here. Floater just kind of got the crap knocked out of him. So yeah, it's probably a pretty good idea if you heal him. Yeah. Oh, you're busy. Okay. See, yeah, I'll see you later then after my Pokemon battle with the gym leader. Cause you bet we're probably going to need some healing. All right. Well, guys, it looks like in the next episode, we are going to be making our way to the gym, hopefully. I'm not sure if it's the gym or to Dragon Spiral Tower, so let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye. Oh, goodness. I'm getting dizzy. I'm getting dizzy. Oh, goodness. Stop dancing, kids. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out, kids. Okay, I'm out.